Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a review on the Nakayoshi Duncan. Um, Duncan is um, a narrow gauge Nakayoshi, so he is one of the harder to find ones. He is in decent shape. He does have some wear in the back, like the stickers kind of coming off back here. And the thing I've noticed with these Duncans is these tend to be loose. And they come off very easily, and people put them back in the wrong places. Like, they don't know which way they go. It's kind of funny. I saw one on eBay, actually, that had these upside down. And the person didn't, they had them, you know, sideways. Instead of, I think, vertically and horizontally, I mean. And they didn't even know that it was horizontal. So, it's kind of funny when you see some of these. They have, like, um, stickers that are mismatched. But Duncan's a nice model. He's yellow. Um... He has a happy face, which is not kind of uncharacteristic of Duncan, knowing how he was in the series. He looks a little bit like his Bondi model, actually. He doesn't look too bad. As for price, you can get him for like 15, 20 bucks. Um, I've seen him go for around 30 or 40, and I guess that's reasonable. Um, I have seen him also go for around 50, and I think that's too much. So it depends on, again, your price range and what you're most comfortable with. When it comes to purchasing a Duncan online, again, the majority of the ones you're going to find... They're going to be from Japanese sellers, and um, they're going to charge you an arm and a leg for it like they typically do. On the bottom, it says copyright 1996 or 1995 or 1996, I think. So this must be an older version. All right, guys, that's the Bondi Duncan. Thank you.